Hello, this is Mark Sabatella from Outside Shore Music, home of Mastering MuseScore. In this tip, I want to show you a, a relatively new feature you may not have noticed. Uh, it's a feature actually of MuseScore.com, the score sharing website, and how it integrates now with MuseScore itself. And when I say MuseScore itself, the notation program is actually in the process of being rebranded, and you may have heard about this. It's going to be called MuseScore Studio. But let's get into that later when that actually falls into place, maybe next month. So uh, I'm looking at a score here on MuseScore.com. And this is not one of my scores. It's just a, a score I happen to be looking at. And you'll see here, in addition to the download button, which you know has always been there. You can download scores, save it to your computer, and then open it in MuseScore. There's now this really nice button here that says Edit on Desktop. And if you click that button here on MuseScore.com, the first thing it does is ask you, well, do you have MuseScore? And if not, download it. But I do, so I can just ignore that uh, dialog. And it opens MuseScore for me and loads the score right on up. There it is. So as easy as that, you can now be uh, working with other people's scores or your own for that matter if you don't uh, have easy access, um, access to them on your own computer. Now you might be wondering, well, where does this score go? Well, it's kind of hidden away in some special place that's like a temporary place. But if you want to save it more permanently on your own computer, you can. So for instance, if I try to save this thing now, I'll press Control S to save and it will prompt me for a file name and a folder to save to. So you can make your own custom version that you save onto your own computer. But if you really just want to play it and listen to it and maybe work with it for a little while and then and then uh, and then close it you can do that without ever having to download anything without ever having to save anything just click that uh, button that says edit on desktop so nice relatively new feature been around a couple of months I'm finding it really useful and hopefully you will too